In 2018, there were over 16,000 vulnerabilities published in public databases, and that's just the ones we know about. But a program as simple as Add a Cat to That couldn't possibly have one of those, right? Right? You know what? Stick around because we should probably use Cloud Registry Scanner to check on our software supply chain just in case. Add a Cat to That is a very short program, no more than a dozen lines of code to implement its core functionality. But believe it or not, it has hundreds of dependencies, each of which expands our attack surface. Using other people's work made Add a Cat to That easy to write, but it's also a potential weakness. Any one of those libraries could be neglected or compromised. And with so many of them, it's next to impossible to manually keep up with the ever-growing list of vulnerabilities. What's a developer to do? Fortunately, we're using Google Container Registry to store our container images. It has a feature that can help us secure our supply chain called vulnerability scanning. Once we've enabled this feature, we can go back to our list of images and look under the vulnerabilities column. And we can see that our tiny little image has over 600 vulnerabilities and only 38 fixes. We could dive into each of these vulnerabilities to see if we could fix them. For example, uh, let's click on one of the image magic issues to find details on exactly what the vulnerability is. An uninitialized variable leading to memory corruption. Now, we could dig through the variable's use cases to see if this error is relevant to us. And even if there's not a fix, we might be able to set up some secondary measures to protect ourselves. But let's try a different way. Looking through the vulnerabilities list, we notice that a lot of them are related to image magic. So let's reduce our attack surface by swapping out image magic with a simpler Python library called Pillow. We can also improve our security posture by choosing a different base image. We're currently using Python 3.7, which contains a lot of dependencies we don't need. And many of the vulnerabilities we're seeing are coming from that image. We can remove most of them by switching to a slimmer base image, such as Alpine Linux. And since we're using Alpine, we'll have to change our Docker file to manually include the specific libraries we need. But other than that, the Docker file is pretty much the same. With just these two fixes, we're down to zero known vulnerabilities. Google Container Registry's vulnerability scanning showed us how to improve our security. But those changes came with a cost. Because we switched from Image Magic to Pillow, the app is slower and uses more memory than before. But for us, this was a trade-off we were willing to make. Eliminating over 600 bugs in a few minutes? Yeah, that seems like a win. Add a cat to that has to be secure. Good thing we found out about these issues before we had an incident. But I vaguely remember making a last minute check-in last night. Hmm. I'm Carter Morgan, and in the next video, we'll use Cloud Security Scanner to check for any silly mistakes that might have been introduced into the code base by someone, I don't know who, gremlins.